So this is my hair right now, dry with no product in it. That's how it like naturally dries. I'm gonna show you guys how I deep condition. Sorry about that noise. I'm gonna show you guys how I deep condition my hair. I typically deep condition my hair about once a week. If I can, I'll do it twice. But I really, really do it once a week. I make it a routine to really just pamper myself one day out of the week. Like my nails, I do like face mask and like the whole shebang. So my hair is really important to me. I love my hair. I used to hate it, but I absolutely love it now. So I'm going to show you guys how I decondition my hair. So if you're interested in how I do so, then keep on watching. My hair right now is taken out of a protective style, a bun. I just woke up and this is what it looks like. I kind of look like Mufasa from The Lion King. So basically my curls have really nothing to them. They just look like a fluff. But I'm going to show you deep conditioning it and how I style it in this video. The first thing I use for my deep conditioner is this Shea Moisture Coconut Oil. It's 100% extra virgin coconut oil and I absolutely love it. It's really nice and moisturizing. Again, it's 100% natural. You can use it on your skin, you can use it anywhere on your body you'd like, but I really love to use it in my hair and give my hair that extra nice shine, healthy glow. This is this next treatment is from Daiti America, and this has shea butter in it. It also has Asian herbs. You can use this as a styler if you want because it won't flake up or become really greasy. It's actually a leave-in treatment for the scalp, but I like to use it as a deep conditioner and because I really like the moisture it gives and I just want to penetrate that throughout my hair especially my ends because my ends get really really dry the next one is a deep penetrating conditioner now this stuff on its own really does justice but again I kind of like to make my own little cocktail so this right here helps restore dry brittle hairs it helps mend your split ends it stops breakage because it helps fortify that cuticle and make your hair really strong and I love the moisture and shine it gives to my hair as well here I'm just showing you some of the ingredients so you can see there's no yucky stuff in it it's really natural and just pure for the hair I have a bowl and I'm going to mix the products inside the bowl I like to mix a little bit at a time because I rather make less than make more and you know have to throw it away so you're gonna see I'm just gonna make a little bit but eventually I do make more I just don't show that in this video here I'm just showing you that the penetrating conditioner is a little bit more of a thicker consistency and the leave-in is more of a liquid consistency now this is the one I said you can use as a styler because I definitely use it sometimes as a styler like I'll run it through my hair and then style my curls per usual but today I'm just going to use it as a part of my deep conditioning routine today. So I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm going to take what I think is enough. So I'm going to take a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil will have to be the less that I take because I don't want my hair to be super greasy. But I do like the shine and the moisture it brings to my hair. So again, this is really nice because you can customize it and make however much you want. You can kind of make it to how your hair needs it. So if your hair really is dry and brittle, you can add more coconut oil if that's what you like. But I'm just going to go with what I think is enough for today. Then I just mix it up like it's some yummy food. So just mixing, mixing, mixing. Again, it looks like a little bit, but it does saturate a lot of my hair, but I eventually go in and make just a little bit more because I do have very thick hair. Here I'm just showing you that I am going to section my hair off. So I'm going to part it down the middle and then section one side and clip it out of the way and then work with one half and then work my way to the other. So I'm just grabbing the conditioner right in my hand and I'm just gonna apply it right on the roots and work my way down. I do section my hair little by little. I show that off camera because we could be here forever with this hair, but I do get down in each section of my hair and really make sure everything is fully saturated. It just takes a while because as you can see, I have a lot of hair and it's very thick. If your hair starts to suck up, the product and then you know your hair is really dry and really dehydrated so you really need to take care of it more often because that means your hair is really porous and it needs some TLC 
After I apply the conditioner all over my hair, I just kind of make my hair into a really tight bun. I kind of look like a naked mole rat with a big old forehead. <laughs> but I make a protective style, which is a bun. And that's just going to help seal in the moisture and seal in the heat. You can use a shower cap if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and use this plastic bag. So it's been about 45 minutes since I applied this to my hair. So I am going to now rinse my hair with cold water. My hair was dry when I did this because I did take a shower and my hair was washed with warm to kind of hot water. So that opens up the cuticle. Now I'm going to rinse the conditioner out with cold water which is going to close the cuticle and help seal in that moisture so i'm going to go ahead and rinse this out and then i'll be right back so i have my hair in a microfiber towel and this is typically what i use to dry my hair because it prevents split ends and breakage so this is my hair after the conditioner it feels so nice and soft it feels really nice and soft and moisturized, but not like greasy, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair, and I'm actually going to use this Conair hair comb. This is what you call a shower comb because of the hook. I got this at Walmart, and it was about $2. And this is the best thing I've ever purchased for my hair. A wide tooth comb, which is perfect for curly hair. It also helps prevent breakage so I would recommend getting one of these to detangle your hair if you have curly hair or thick hair you need this in your life so I'm gonna go ahead and untangle this hair and get all ready and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like after I put the products in and everything like that so I'll see you guys in a few now I'm just gonna wait for it to dry because it looks kind of flat and I really like my hair with a lot of volume so I just basically I just let it dry and when it's dry I don't play with it like fluff it up because that causes frizz but my hair always feels really nice and really shiny and like my ends don't look as dry as they did before the conditioner so this is why I really like to deep condition my hair once a week because curly hair is very fragile and very weak and it's very dry so that's why you really want to make sure you put that moisture back in your hair. But yeah, I'm just going to let my hair finish drying and bada bing bada boom, I'm ready to go and then I'll kind of play with this right here. But yeah, that is my hair. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe hope you learned something. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell if you want to stay notified for when I upload a video. So I'm about to go do my makeup and look awake. So I'll talk to you guys later.